Hi everyone. Today, this is just a quick tip. Um, I wanted to show how we can uh, select all or select none of the items in a list box. This can be very useful to improve the user experience by adding a simple select all button and a select none button instead of having to hold down the shift or the control key to make multiple selections when all they want to do is select all or none. So uh, always thinking of user uh, enhancements, ways that we can improve their functionality, simplify their lives, data entry, um, a button to select all and a button to select none when applicable is a great thing to do. Now, this isn't something that I've invented. I am simply using code from Alan Brown. Um, if you weren't already aware of Alan Brown, he used to be an MVP um, and he moved away from access completely but he has an amazing website with tons, tons of useful information. So I highly recommend you check it out if you're not already aware of it. I'm gonna be using his two functions here, clear list, which is like select none, and he has select all. Uh, in my implementation, I've renamed them to follow my manner of naming things. And also I wanted to make it a little bit more, uh, I guess, logical, shall we say. Um, so I'm using his code, I've just renamed the subs, and I've implemented my error handler for demonstration purposes because I didn't want to drag along an error a function and things like that. So, but it is his code, I'm using exactly what he has posted here, and I've acknowledged it as well in my code. So let's take a look at how this can work. I have a very simple database. And I have two forms. The forms are identical, except for the way I've implemented calling the functions. Um, so before we dive into that, let's look at the functions. Like I said, I simply took his and renamed them. So he had select all, I'm prefixing it with list. This is for list box. It's the way I operate. You can rename it however you like or keep it the way he has it, no problem. And then I have here, I renamed his clear list to list and then select none. But once again, it is his code. I've kept his header, his code, and then I implemented my general error handler that I use when I'm doing demos like this. So with that out of the way, we now have a list select all and we have a list select none function. And I say function because if you look, he made them send their Boolean. They return true or false when they complete. So if you go through everything and then it returns true, and if you go through everything, it returns true here as well. If something goes awry in between, it's going to return false. It didn't complete what you asked it to do. Okay, so now we know how it works, and we should just look at how it works, actually. As you'll see here, he comes here. He checks, in both cases, is it multi-select? Because he can't select all, and he can't select none if it isn't multi-select. And then what he does is he goes through here for each item selected, He's going to take the item and he's going to set it to selected false. So he's deselecting it. Up here, similarly, select all. He's simply going to take the count of the list box, minus one, zero based. And he's going to iterate through all the items. And for each item, he's going to set the selected to true. So very simple code when you know how to work with it. How do we use these? Well, very simply. And I wrote this wrong it shouldn't be macro it should be this is actually an expression so i have two identical forms let's open the expression one i have a list box here as you can see list box and if you look at the data it's a value list with a series of fruits next i have my two buttons so select all select none and if you look at the implementation, in this case, I simply created an expression here. And the expression is the name of the function and then the name of the list box. Because remember, in the code, what is the function need? It needs a list box pass to it. And the same for the select nut. It needs a list box pass to it. So that's what we do in our expression. We're passing the name of this list box. This list box is list underscore fruit. So here in the expression for the function, we're putting list underscore fruit. So we're doing the select all function here. And for none, we're doing the select none function. Now, if we just test it out, you will see it works perfectly. 
you can do manual selections and it still works. So as you can see, the expression works fine. So if you don't want to get into a VBA module and things like that, you can just do straightforward expression. It works beautifully. If on the other hand, like me, you prefer VBA, you prefer it all to be in one spot and not have things hidden in the form properties, then in that case, same form layout, but now for the buttons, instead of having the expression, I've got a click on click event procedure. So if we come into the event procedure, I'm calling the exact same two functions and I'm passing the control. So in this case, the list box by doing me dot and then the name of the list box. So list underscore fruit. So we close it and we test it out and it works just fine. So as you can see, you can choose your implementation as an expression if you prefer not have to have a VBA module, or if you are like me and you prefer having everything in the VBA module, well, in that case, you just do a call of the function passing the me dot and then the name of your list box. So that's the quick tip for the day. Alan Brown has tons of useful tidbits of code and it's a volume of information. Um, like I say, check out his website. It really is worthwhile. I'll include a link in my uh, description below. And um, I hope this helps a few of you out there improve your user experience. Uh, thank you for spending a couple of minutes with me today. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, share if you're able to. Drop me a line. What other tidbits like this do you guys use in your forms to simplify data entry, simplify your end users' lives? Um, uh, you pass me any information, maybe I'll do a video on that next. Um, thank you once again. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.